her. Oh my god. That one. She looks old. She's a regular Botox user. And she looks old. Yes. Yeah, so you and Jason. Yeah, what about us? Yeah, what's going on with you and Jason? For as long as she could remember, she'd had the box. She'd had the box for as long as she could remember. And she'd never shown anyone what was inside the box, ever. After all, it was just the box. All 16 years of her life, it had been just the box. All she knew about the box is that she wasn't supposed to show anyone the contents of the box. Like, I don't understand. Like, you're 16, you're legal, it's not a That's big thing. That's got nothing to do with it. I want, it. I want it to be special. It's not going to be special, so you might as well just get over and done with. It is going to be special, and I'm not just going to do it with anyone. But as she got older, she began to question this reasoning plucked up the courage to ask her mum at the age of 11. Her mum told her that the box was a present. And that one day, a man will come along willing to trade his soul for this box. Only then must you make the swap for the box. Failing to comprehend and not fully understand, she felt compelled to nod in her head. Her mum said, in this box is life, and in this box, is death. I understand that like, it's not even going to be special the first time, boy, so. Well, I want him to respect me. So. See the big issue, to be honest with you. Like, when you actually do it, like, it won't be a big thing. Well, not everyone's like you. So you still got your box then? Yeah. Can I see it then? Why do you want to see? I, do you know what? I just want to see it because I don't actually believe that you still got your box. I just want to see you it. You don't believe me? I need to see this from my eyes. I don't believe it. So I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> you actually still got your box. I don't understand. And now she was here with him who at five years older had given her everything she'd ever wanted. He'd taken a cinema shopping and after college driven him to his parents' cottage. And he was saying, Come on man, I'm waiting for how long? I want it to be special, I just, I don't want to rush into it. Look, I know you don't want to rush, yeah? But me and you have been together for a while and I think, you know, now will be the right time. Why can't we just wait a little while? Till I'm sure that I want to do it. Right, so is that what you want, yeah? You want me to go out and look for another thing then, yeah? No, uh, that's not what I mean. Just... I haven't given my box to anyone else and I want to be... I want to be sure, I want it to be special. I don't just want to rush into it. Listen, I know that. You know I love you. I mean, you're beautiful, sexy, you're intelligent. That's why I'm here with you. So why not now? She knew that she must love him. What could she do that would possibly show it full brunt? That's when her mind flicked back to the box. That night he didn't take time to carefully pull back the ribbon as she had hoped He ravaged and savaged it, leaving the packaging in tatters Not taking time to acknowledge that he'd been chosen Or even to ask how she was coping And when it was wide open, wide enough to bear her soul 
he didn't even give it a second glance and continued to indulge. No way, this couldn't be the same him that was now on the phone saying, I, I don't think it's working out babes and we need some time alone. And at this point her mum's words just kept ringing through her head. In this box is life. In this box is death. And at 16 she feels the life part of the equation growing in her stomach as she's laying on her bed. And at 16 she contemplates taking the blanket tying around her neck, attaching it to the pole above the balcony, walking to the edge and stepping off the ledge. But she recoils and decides to cherish this new life instead. Because what no one ever told her, what no one ever said, was that the box would mend. And she knows it's worth now. So she promises herself never again will she reveal its secrets of old. Till that man comes along willing to trade his soul. <laughs>